We're making groundbreaking discoveries every day now that James Webb is finally in outer space. It is the most powerful telescope in the world, and it's not just observing our solar system, but also the planets located out of our solar system. And interestingly, James Webb has finally discovered a planet that has become a nightmare for a lot of scientists. So what that planet is, and why is it becoming considered so dangerous? Make sure to keep watching to find it all out. The James Webb Telescope is giving us new insights every single day on the formation of this universe and on the nature of different planets residing beside us. But it has recently observed a brand new planet called WASP-39b that has particularly caught the attention of astronomers. WASP-39b is a huge gas giant that's really hot and is about 700 light years away from the Earth. It is located in the Virgo constellation and you should know that this planet is really hot. But do you know what a groundbreaking discovery is? Well, NASA has discovered carbon dioxide on this planet. Yes, with the help of infrared light technology of James Webb, NASA was able to find carbon dioxide traces in the atmosphere of WASP-39b. This discovery is going to completely change the way we see the universe and the way we treat planets. It simply means that ours isn't the only planet that has oxygen and carbon. Not only this, but the existence of oxygen also means that there's a possibility of life on this outer planet, and there could also be water. The scientists still have to look into it to find out whether life on this planet is theoretically possible or not. But there's a high chance that we at least find single-celled organisms in the atmosphere of WASP. Plus, humans and other organisms on Earth evolved according to the conditions, so there's a possibility that life on other planets also evolved with conditions. So we can't completely eliminate the possibility of life on other planets just because they're hotter and humans can't survive there. Some other species of life might survive, and that's proof that life could be present beyond Earth. And that's really scary for a lot of scientists, and they're even considering WASP as an extremely dangerous planet because of its reported potential to host life. Even though there is still no evidence that life exists on this planet, scientists are already hopeful to find something worthwhile. Since the past few years, scientists have been working really hard to discover mainly carbon dioxide in outer space and in the atmosphere of different planets. And now that they've found it, the odds of existence of life are very promising. Even the James Webb Telescope is currently analyzing different exoplanets and working on finding elements in their atmosphere that might offer the proof of life, or at least proof of the origin of that planet. But some scientists are now saying that the WASP isn't going to be a good host for life, as it's so close to its star and has a temperature of 900 degrees Celsius. In these high temperatures, life can't really survive until it has evolved into something entirely different and potent. These are just alien theories, and currently, there is no evidence of extraterrestrial life on this planet. One side of this planet is facing its star, and the other side is entirely dark. So some people believe that there might be something hidden in that darkness. There were rumors recently about a flying ship being seen around WASP, but it was all a sham, and there was no reality in these rumors. However, the darker side of this planet is actually scaring a lot of astronomers. That's because no one really knows what's going on in the other half of this planet. And some people even say that if there's a superior race in this universe, this might be where it would live. All these theories and rumors aside, there's still no material evidence of how life could exist on a planet with such extreme temperatures on both sides. This planet was selected for James Webb to work on because it's really huge and gave a lot of surface area to work on. Plus, the planet is only 700 light years away from Earth, and theoretically, that's closer than most exoplanets. But now, that we've discovered carbon dioxide and found out a whole lot of things about this planet, it's officially time to move towards other planets. The techniques used in analyzing WASP would now be used to figure out the details about other exoplanets too. Although James Webb would now be focusing on smaller and rocky planets that could actually be habitable. For instance, TRAPPIST-1 star system looks a lot like Earth, and its atmosphere also seems similar. So it might be next on Webb's radar. The atmosphere of TRAPPIST-1 is quite balanced with the existence of carbon dioxide, water in the form of vapors, and even nitrogen. All these elements are crucial for life, and it hints the scientists that there might be life on TRAPPIST. 
However, most scientists assume that we're not going to find life on just one planet, because there are billions of planets, and it's almost impossible to just assume that one or two planets would have life out of all of them. So, they say that as we discover the vast space, we'll be finding a whole lot of planets hosting extraterrestrial life, and we might even make a colony on those planets in the future and live side by side with the aliens. Even though it sounds a little far-fetched, did you ever imagine that we'll be looking billions of years back in time? Well, so when it comes to science, nothing is far-fetched per se. Some scientists also believe that it's possible that these exoplanets have chemicals that we don't really know of. And if we think about it, that actually sounds very valid. It isn't necessary that everything in outer space would be made by the same elements found on Earth. And some scientists are considering WASP really dangerous because it might be made of substances that we don't know at all. It is often said that Venus is like an evil twin of Earth, so similar in composition and yet so different in atmosphere. That's because Venus is at the surface temperature of 470 Celsius, and life can't really survive on this planet. But on the other hand, Earth is at the perfect distance from the Sun, so what we're looking for is a planet that's like Venus or Earth in composition, but with a moderate temperature. Scientists often get fascinated thinking about how just some distance made Earth full of life and Venus so uninhabitable that nothing can survive on its toxic surface. It's like these small things that decide whether life is going to prevail on a planet or not. So things are still a little iffy when it comes to WASP. However, the astronomers are very determined as they believe that they're closer than ever to finding the traces of life in outer space. Not only this, but we also have to consider the dangers that come with humans discovering life on an outer planet. We all have seen those aliens taking over the Earth movies, right? But while conspiracy theories aside, we're closer to at least finding our real origins with James Webb, and that's what matters the most right now. So what are your thoughts on the WASP planet? Tell us in the comments section. Also make sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon to get the latest updates. We'll see you in the next video. Till then, adios from our side.